I just blew up at my family and I have honestly never felt better. I am not the oop. Oop is you, honest sky 7765. I just blew up at my family and I have honestly never felt better. Previous bo are you. Originally posted to r, true off my chest. Trigger warning. Child neglect. Less than. Original post June 19th, 2023. For some background. I. 25M. I'm the only male in my family. Not including my son and nephews. Over the years I have often been the forgotten one in the family or the one who is expected to just give things up for others. However more often recently, it has been the constant need for favors. From building furniture, to sorting out different technology to being the adult figure at an event for the younger ones do, to them being unable to make it. For example, when growing up, I would often be left home alone while the others in my family went out for meals or for a girl's day. Once also being left with other family members so that they could go on holiday without me. Or I would be expected to take my dad's old clothes. He lived separately from my mom. While my sisters got brand new everything. From clothes. To big trips to having their prom entirely paid for while I had to stay home during my prom. So on to what caused me to blow up. Yesterday was Father's Day. As mentioned. I have a son myself. And since I am the only male. I am also the main male role model for my nephew. I do not wish to sound whiny. But this is now the fourth year in a row that I have been completely forgotten about. I'm a simple person so I do not expect nor like big celebrations or gifts. I just wanted a simple message saying Happy Father's Day. Now I would usually be able to ignore this and move on however Mother's Day in our family has always been a huge event, with constant gifts, meals etc. Wishing for a simple message seemed so small in comparison so I didn't feel like I was asking too much. It was not as if they had completely forgotten about it. As various members of the family posted about Father's Day, including little posts for those who have unfortunately passed away or are no longer part of the main family unit, like my father. So this ended with me blowing up at my family for constantly asking me for favors and to make sacrifices when I can't even get the smallest bit of acknowledgement in return. Honestly I said a lot of things that I have been holding in for the longest time and I don't think I have ever felt better getting it off of my chest. Edit. First off, I would like to say thank you for all of the support. It genuinely does mean a lot. As for what some people have been asking, I have tried to talk to my family in the past about feeling like I have been treated unfairly. Communication isn't my strong point. I was diagnosed with high-functioning autism or Asperger's just last year. And it has always resulted in my family mainly my mother and sister, accusing me of lying or misremembering stuff. As for the blow up, it resulted in my mother lying about getting me something every single year. Not true as I keep absolutely everything that has anything to do with my son or father's day. And then trying to make me feel guilty for being angry, followed by her quickly leaving the family group chat. My sister however quickly jumped in and started trying to belittle me as a father and defend my mother, followed by removing me from the group chat before I could reply. The only one on my side in all of it is my grandmother, who is the only one to treat me fairly. Overall both my sister and mother completely missed the point I was trying to make and acted like I had asked for a huge celebration for me when all I had said was that I give a lot to the family. It would have been nice to get a simple message from them. Relevant comments. O colleagues 1992. Hugs. It took long enough. And when they keep calling tell them, no, that you have better things to do. Like to hang out with your child. They want you to babysit their kids, no, I'm busy. You are a parent. You do not need to fill the role of anyone for free labor. Oop replied. Thank you for this. 
Unfortunately in the past when I have told them no it has lead to me being repeatedly shouted at or guilt tripped or just completely ignored for weeks. Autopath 79. What specifically did you say when you blew up? Did you blow up to everyone all at once? Was it in person? What was their reaction? Oop replied. We have, more accurately now, had, a family group chat. Just after midnight on Father's Day I sent a simple message in there telling everyone that I will no longer be doing people favors. When asked why, I simply asked them what day it was. This was followed by my mother claiming not to have had internet connection all day. Despite sharing things on Facebook throughout the day. And claiming to have gotten me something every year. Which is just completely not true as ever since my son was born. I have kept anything to do with him in various memory boxes. From cards. To gifts. To little school things he has done. This was followed by me calling her out personally in the chat for not making any effort with me. For years. Pointing out that she has messaged me twice this year and visited my house three times in the last three. Years but then always expecting me to make constant effort for her or do favors. We live less than 10 minutes apart. My mother then left the chat and hasn't messaged me since. My sister then jumped in and started saying I was being unfair by calling out my mother and tried to belittle me, and then quickly removed me from the group chat before I could reply. Update June 21, 2023. For those who have seen my last post, I thought I'd give you an update. Following me blowing up at my family, I received multiple messages either belittling me, playing the victim or calling me unfair. So after a lot of people giving me the same advice, I have decided to cut them out of my life. Mainly my mother and sister. I'm still in contact with my grandmother and younger cousins as they have genuinely done nothing wrong and have been on my side. However my mother has decided to be petty. In our family, each of us pays for a different streaming service and share the accounts. My mother decided to change the password to her account and kick me off of it. So I have done the same with the service that I pay for. I will however be logging my cousins and grandmother back into it but not revealing the password. So yeah, I've cut off the ones who would make me feel worthless and they've decided to be petty in return. Hash hashtag newup date update 2-4 months later October 21st. 2023. So I wasn't actually going to do a full update. But I just came across a video containing my posts and saw a lot of comments both here and on the video asking how I'm doing. So I'm doing good. I have cut all contact with my mother and sister. I haven't spoken to them in 4 months and they haven't attempted to contact me. My mother did contact my girlfriend a few weeks after the incident for an unrelated favor but was quickly shut down. I am doing better in my own life. I have a new job. Working as a data technician and have been feeling a lot better mentally. Overall I have just chosen to start living a more quiet life. I will still speak to my grandmother every week and check in. On top of that I have just been making sure I have a stress-free environment and only have people around me who will build me up and make life better, rather than those who would constantly try and drag me down. So yeah, I cut off my family and it's been great since. I am doing better in my work life personal life and most importantly I'm doing a lot better mentally. This is a repost sub I am not the oop. Can you imagine going on vacation and leaving one kid behind? How could the mother even consider that? Good for op really. This types of family aren't healthy and pretty toxic. Having to surround yourself with those who are awful and lack the respectful won't make things better. Glad Op is able to have his health stay to the top and his life is doing well. My mother did contact my girlfriend a few weeks after the incident for an unrelated favor. The audacity of some people. 
such a nice, healthy update. No excessive drama with stalking, missing twins and revenge plots. I remember reading this months ago. I'm glad Oop is doing better in the update. It broke my heart to hear about the girls trips etc. I can't imagine leaving a family member behind like that. I wish him well. What an amazing young man. This internet stranger is very proud of him for knowing his self-worth at a young age. I love this. So many of these posts where a family member is being treated unfairly involve the person. Understandably wanting some sort of answer or acknowledgement from the family members who are treating them badly and continuing to engage and fight over the course of weeks in the hopes of getting the others to admit that they're wrong. This guy made has case, stated it clearly, and when he didn't get what he hoped for he cut them off entirely and started living his own life. Free of their nonsense. I absolutely understand the craving for closure. But sometimes you have to build that door on your own before you can shut it. That reminds me of the time my parents planned this elaborate road trip vacation. Then proceeded to ask me to watch the dogs while they were away. My sister had a great few weeks though. She has always been the golden child. But that one hurt the most. I cut out six siblings for the same kind of treatment. It's so painful. So sad. So worth it. My late mother only ever saw her sister when she needed a favor. As kids, we were treated as skivvies, shouted at and belittled. I wish my mother had learned to stand up for herself. But, as the baby of the family, that was always her weakness. Same aunt decided to lecture me the day before my mother's funeral, and then took a shortcut to the creme. I haven't spoken to her since despite her living within a hundred meters. Good job Oop, live happily, and away from your awful family. Good for Oop, this was a long time coming. Just remember, just because you share DNA does not make you family. That's a nice update to see at the end. I'm glad Op is doing better after cutting contact. It can be hard in the moment but at least he's very firmly on the up and up. I'm glad this is going well so far. Oops saying their mental health is better makes me feel good. Smiley face. Nice update. It's an amazing rebound from being so used. I love this for him. And I love that his GF was supportive and also shut down any favors good for him. You wouldn't knowingly choose to eat poisoned food and pollute your body. So why choose to let poisonous relationships pollute your mind? The time, energy and mental bandwidth that these people siphon from people can be much better spent elsewhere. One of the perks of aging is you realize your time is finite. You learn to allocate that finite resource to the people and tasks that make everyone's lives better. One true reciprocative relationship is worth more than that of countless energy vampires focus on quality and not quantity in your chosen people as well as your work op is autistic and a people pleaser who can only take so much and when he finally snaps and calls his family out rightfully everyone accuses him of being dramatic and playing the victim been there currently dealing with that I would love to be able to cut my family off like this. I remember this when he originally posted. I'm so happy to get this October update and hear that op is doing so much better. I was really rooting for him. I'm glad op is doing well. I work in mental health and people are surprised when I don't judge them for going no contact. I think of it like this. Doctors don't like having to amputate patients' limbs, but if there's no other way and that's what needs to be done to save the patient they won't hesitate. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content.
Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.